Say you have $500 million in your bank account. Will you be willing to give it away? Well, that's what some people do. In their efforts to help humanity, these people created a philanthropic foundation called The Giving Pledge. In this video, we will talk about why it was The Giving Pledge started. The Giving Pledge Foundation you didn't know about. Let's jump right into it. First of all, in August 2011, 40 of the richest people in America conveyed and created one of the most successful philanthropic clubs ever. The Giving Pledge Foundation was created by Warren Buffett, Melinda French Gates, and Bill Gates as a result of discussions with philanthropists about how they could establish a new norm of charity among the ultra-rich. The Giving Pledge soon drew interest from benefactors worldwide despite being initially US-focused. Since its inception, more than 230 individuals and couples, some of which are from Africa, have committed to it. If you are thinking of Aliko Dangode, we are sorry because he doesn't make this list. If you are interested in knowing who these Giving Pledge signatories from Africa are, then don't change this video. The unique thing about the Giving Pledge Foundation is that anyone who becomes a signatory is urged to send a statement outlining their donation choices, charitable philosophy, and motivations. So why was establishing the Giving Pledge so important when there are already multiple philanthropic foundations? Some Giving Pledge signatories already have their foundations, so why do they need to sign and join this exclusive club? Now, the Giving Pledge Foundation has the potential to increase charitable giving to well over $500 billion in the United States alone should all signatories actively follow through with their donations. For instance, in 2018, Emily Y. Rails and Mitchell Rails, co-owners of the industrial company Danher Corp, signed the Giving Pledge. Recently, they transferred shares worth $3.3 billion to their charity institutions. Michael Bloomer has donated $1.8 billion to John Hopkins University to provide financial aid and eliminate student loans. In addition, over $8 billion have been contributed by Bloomer to deserving causes, such as homeless charities, children's hospitals, and HIV and malaria research. He has given $12.7 billion through the Giving Pledge Foundation, $1.66 billion of which was distributed in 2021. Bloomberg reiterated his commitment to giving through the Giving Pledge Foundation with these words. If you want to do something for your children and show how much you love them, the single best thing, by far, is to support organizations that will create a better world for them and their children. And by giving, we inspire others to give of themselves, whether their money or their time. Again, we promise to let you know some Giving Pledge signatories from Africa earlier. The reason why we are emphasizing Africa among the many continents is that as a continent, Africa has been burdened with diseases and impoverished in so many ways, and most of the philanthropic activities are mostly from the West. As such, it is spirit-lifting to see some individuals who hail from the African continent signing the Giving Pledge and dedicating their wealth for a greater tomorrow. These honorable individuals are Mohamed Duji and Couples, Strive and Sitsi Masiwa, Patris and Precious Matsap. Let's give a thumbs up to the Africans part of the Giving Pledge. In addition, the Giving Pledge Foundation was established to assist some extremely affluent individuals to express their lofty giving goals. One such is Mackenzie Scott, a novelist who, since her divorce from Jeff Bezos, the founder of Amazon, in 2019, has donated more than $12 billion. John D. Arnold, a former hedge fund manager, and his wife, Laura Arnold, are another. They have promised to donate at least 5% of their fortune each year. Incredible. It is evident that without the Giving Pledge Foundation, the drive and motivation for some of these individuals would be in the drain. The Giving Pledge truly enforces the desire and commitment while edging a harmless competition among member signatories to contribute more and significantly to improving our world. Did you know that despite the honorable intentions of the Giving Pledge Foundation, there have been rumored allegations by critics about the foundation and how it operates? Also, one of the world's richest men has never signed the Giving Pledge. Want to know why then stay tuned for more? We will discuss this at length soon in the video. Are you enjoying this video? Then subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification button 
so you don't miss any of our exciting videos. Moving on, another important reason why the Giving Pledge was started was to provide a greater sense of desire to make difference. Many pledgers believe it is their responsibility to use their skills and resources to elevate the state of humanity. Pledgers often assert that their efforts will be successful and effective and believe that their generosity can change the circumstances in which others lie. The Giving Pledge's basic premise is that billionaires, or those who would be if they gave less, should publicly commit to giving the majority of their wealth to philanthropy, either during their lifetimes or in their wills. It is inspired by the countless people from diverse socioeconomic origins who willingly give to better the world, often at great personal expense. Despite the worthy intentions of the Giving Pledge signatories and the Foundation as a whole, some critics have described their actions as just a publicity gimmick. For some people, playing the devil's advocate is their bread and butter, according to these critics, since there is no demand or requirement or timetable and schedule as to how signatories should donate money to charities and other nonprofit organizations does not sit right with them. They even claim that should the giving pledge signatories stick to their word, they can easily move substantial assets to a family foundation or a donor-advised fund, which are financial institutions where contributors store money they want to donate in the future. Likewise, the 13th richest man in the world, Carlos Slim, has vowed not to sign the Giving Pledge because it simply doesn't interest him. Some critics of the Giving Pledge very much agree with him. The second richest man in the world talking here focused on philanthropy, hiring workers with disabilities, talking about giving internet to people who can't access it. Um, and he did it all without the Giving Pledge. You know, if, if, you, if you watch more of that interview that Betty did, he talked all about, I don't need to sign a pledge in order to do philanthropic endeavors. And so you have Buffett and Gates really going out there, twisting the arms of billionaires, making sure that they sign this pledge, that they'll commit at least half their fortunes to philanthropy. He says, we don't worry about budgets. We find a good project that we want to get involved with. We, we fund it, and we don't have to worry about, you know, the giving pledge. You know? So, but that so, means, I guess, we won't see half of his $81.2 billion going to philanthropy. Are you for or against the giving pledge? Tell us in the comments section below. Irrespective of the feelings, be it critic or fan, the central idea of the Giving Pledge Foundation is admirable and remarkable. Their efforts have truly helped and continue to help humanity. It's been an awesome pleasure taking you through this video. Consider watching our next video, The Giving Pledge, a new club for billionaires, top five giving pledge signatories. You will find it informative and entertaining as well. Thanks for watching. We will see you soon in the next video.